It's an old cliche. You only have one chance at a first impression. That's why they call it a first impression, right? So on dating apps, you better... Like, make that first impression really, really solid if you want to date. And as Abby has told us here now time and time again on Hinge, the voice prompts that dudes are listening, are, are uh, listening, uh, are posting, are just really, really bad. Hinge truly is the eighth layer of hell. <laughs> and any single girl or guy who has ever been on there for longer than five seconds will know it is the <laughs> wild, wild west. People will do just about anything to show off their personalities and try and get your attention through these voice prompts. So essentially, you'll be scrolling through these different profiles. You'll see some pictures of some guys. You'll be like, this guy looks normal. And then you press play and you're like, ugh. <laughs> so <laughs> I've decided I'm going to go on a tour day, Burt Show Affiliates, and change my location to different locations. All right, so today we're going to be focusing on what city? We're going to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. All right, so if you are listening on 1037 KISS FM in Chattanooga, you're about to get railed on. Uh, um, <laughs> no, just these particular dudes on Hinge who have really cringeworthy voice prompts. We have had dozens of callers on this show over the years that have said that they finally bagged a date with the guy that was really, really great looking, and what he did wrong on that first date was talk. <laughs> Some of you need to know that you're so good looking that this voice prompt thing is not necessary. No, I mean, I, and I love a good voice. Like sometimes someone can have a sexy voice and it can totally turn you in the right direction, but <laughs> it depends on what you're saying. <laughs> and one thing that I learned about the guys from Chatty Chattanooga <laughs> is that they love their food. They love so their I'm food. I'm not completely sure if everyone's seen the cubic rules of food. But it basically boils down to the one main point of contention that Pop-Tarts are, in fact, ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to learn all about the different types of uh, food rules on we, Hinge. We actually had this argument yeah, on the show. Did. Sounds familiar. <laughs> I also learned that <laughs> I also learned while listening on these voice prompts that um, these guys like to multitask. And I noticed this when I was listening to a guy talk about his epic date fail. And I was like, hmm, I think he's peeing while recording this. So my biggest date fail was actually a hike that I planned. Um, Should have checked the weather. I totally forgot. And anyways, we got halfway up the hill or the hike and then it started raining. So we figured we saw enough, we would just turn back. But before we knew it, the trail we were on turned into a river. Rocks started to fall. She fell a few times. I fell a few times. It was bad. <laughs> Top 10 worst dates ever. There was a dude in Chattanooga that thought it was a good idea to record this while he was peeing. Yeah, that, that is a slow trickle. I feel like that's a fish tank. I, that's, it sounds like a fish tank to me, too. It was pretty slow. Or, yeah? yeah? Yeah, that was like, or one of those indoor, like, watering, <laughs> self-watering planters. That, I would be concerned. That sounded like molasses. <laughs> hey, not everybody sounds like a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> you need a drip drip. Prostate check, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. You need to DM them and be like, you might want to get your prostate check, my dude. <laughs> so not only are that's they... That's a big old pickup line, probably, on me. <laughs> hey, can I check your prostate? <laughs> it sounds like you're being too slow. Yeah, so girls in Chattanooga, if you see that guy, that's your, we, we just laid that out for you. That's how you can talk to this guy. But uh, not only are they passionate about food, but they're also very um, competitive. Okay, so when I was in middle school, I was on a dodgeball team at the beach, and my buddy's dad named the dodgeball team, and we were the salad tossers. So I was running around telling the other teams that I was going to toss their salad the whole time. So fast forward to high school, I'm in a computer class, and we have to have groups. We make this big-ass sign, and it says salad tossers, and it's got smiley faces all over I think it's hilarious what well, comes to find out that i get in a bunch of trouble because of what salad tossing really means and i had to tell the entire class <laughs> he had no what idea <laughs> i i think he did know but then he had to tell everybody and he said he was like what in eighth grade <laughs> what it meant after he told everybody that he was going to toss their salad it wasn't little league it was eighth grade? It was oh, eighth grade. Oh, okay. That makes a difference. <laughs> yes, it does. I actually find that story endearing. <laughs> he was in the eighth grade. I still find it endearing. <laughs> you know, that, that, that guy was actually kind of cute, too. I thought about swiping right. <laughs> and I also love how theatrical they are. So mm. this guy decided he wanted to play out one of his favorite scenes from no. one of his favorite movies. No. Ron, no. <laughs> what is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. 
No, you can't. There must be another way. <laughs> Harry, it's you who have to go on. I know it. Not me. Not Hermione. You. <laughs> That's pretty damn good, eh? That's pretty funny. That is, if you don't know what that is, that's the scene in Harry Potter where they reach the giant life-size uh-huh. chessboard, and the acting in it is just such a joke. It's a meme. Like, he did it spot on. That was so good. You would get a date out of yes. me for that. But you have to that's be a Harry bad. Potter fan yeah. to get it 100%. Okay. But yeah. it also got kind of popular on TikTok. People were, like, repeating it, making fun of it. Now, the last thing I want to share is the musical talents of these men of Chatty Chattanooga, because you might walk into your Target and see the latest CD. Now, that's what I call desperate. Where you'll hear the latest EDM tracks. Everybody lose your mind. We even have something. We even have something for the country fans. I need a blue sky. So I can clear my mind. Oh, God. And That's if- why he's in Chattanooga <laughs> and not Nashville. Pretty bad. <laughs> and if you love Jason Mraz, we have something for you, too. Oh, you done done me. You better have felt it. I tried to reach you. You're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. I Though I'm trying to get back. No, and don't worry if you want to repent for your sins. We can take you to church as well. It is well, it is well with my soul. It's pretty what? good, actually. No, it's not. <laughs> well, no, no, it is no, it's not. not. I, I feel like you took a part of my soul. <laughs> I, I want it back. I would like it back now. Now that's what I call desperate in stores now. <laughs> so you're, t- you're telling Chattanooga to do better. Uh, just a little bit better, please. Do better, boys. The Bird Show. The Bird Show. Hey, did you like what you just watched? good news there's more of us if you go to wherever you listen to your podcast whether that's apple or google play or spotify you can listen to the Burt show wherever you are whenever you want to